What's going on, YouTube? Nicholas here with Tech Love TV, where we don't discriminate and we believe all tech deserves some love. See some love, it's love day. I'm sure people love out here on the court. So today I have the MX Vertical Mouse by Logitech. You all heard of the saying, smart people learn from their own mistakes and wise people learn from the mistakes of others. I say that because ever since I separated from the military back in 2014, every place that I've worked at since then, and I'm on my seventh job now. Damn! The crowd I've been around, they've been older. Um, some people on the way out about to retire for the second time or they're starting a second career as a civilian coming out from the military. So they're up in age, uh, a little bit older than me, most of the time about five, 10, even 15, 20 years older than me. And I constantly see people complaining about wrist pain because they're starting to develop carpal tunnel or they have carpal tunnel. So I'm doing what I can to mitigate that now. I went out and bought this MX vertical mouse from Logitech. This mouse will be going to my nine to five with me just for basic computer functions. I won't be doing like any editing. It'll just be for more point, click, scroll, and simple things like that. Now on the front of this box, you got the MX vertical. It says advanced ergonomic mouse, 57 degree natural posture. Now on the inside, you can actually open the front cover up and get a feel for it. On the back side, it gives you more about the 57 degree angle. It reduces 10% of muscle strain. It's actually at the natural handshake position to prevent forearm twisting. Four times less hand movement, cursor speed switch, easy switch and flow enabled, fast rechargeable battery. This is available for Windows and Mac, has a one year limited warranty, and they give you three ways to connect this to your Windows computer or Mac computer. You have a unifying receiver, you can connect it via Bluetooth or a USB type C cable. And the USB type C cable allows for the fast charging for this mouse. But before we get into all that, if this is your first time here, go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below. And don't forget, hit that bell icon so you get notifications on when I drop my latest tech video. Okay, so this mouse can be found on Amazon for around $88, or you can go over to the Logitech website and pick this up for around $100. Why is there a price difference? I don't know, bro. Ask Logitech. Also, this mouse currently only comes in one color. So inside the box, which you'll get, you have a USB type C cable. You have some literature, which I'm not going to be reading. They provide you with the unifying receiver and also the mouse. So the first thing that I noticed when I unboxed this mouse is the weight difference between this mouse and the MX Master 2S. It's about 10 grams lighter than the MX Master 2S. And 10 grams, you might think that's really not a big difference, but you can tell the difference when you're moving them around and when you're picking them up. It kind of feels like Logitech used cheaper material on here, but I have no doubt in my mind that Logitech, they found the best material possible to make this mouse, but that's just something that I noticed right off the bat. Going around, you do have this rubberized texture right here for grip, and it's kind of shaped and styled like a seashell. I mean, it really feels nice in the hand. Now on the right side, you have your right and left buttons with good tactile feedback, and then you also have your scroll wheel right here. Now one thing that I wish that Logitech would have done on this mouse is took the MX Master 2S scroll wheel with the hyper scroll and just put it right on this mouse. On the left side, you do have your forward and back buttons right here, and you also have an LED indicator. I think that's for battery status. For the forward and back buttons right here, Logitech, if you're listening, if you do come out with a version two of this vertical mouse, just take the, ver the horizontal wheel and the forward and back buttons from the MX Master 2S and put them right here. You have the space. I don't know why you guys just didn't take this whole setup and just throw it right here. What they should have done is like, took all the good features from here and made it vertical and make it look like this. That's what I think would have made this mouse even better. I've gotten used to it not having the same features and really I have this at work so I don't really need the same features. On the top side you have a cursor speed button so you just push it down and you can move the mouse right and left and it'll adjust the cursor speed in real time. 
I mean, that's a nice touch. You don't have to go inside the settings to adjust the cursor speed. Underneath, you do have your 4000 DPI laser sensor. Now, it does not come with the dark field technology that the MX Master 2S has, so you can't use it on glass or any type of clear surface, but on a white table, it worked just fine, and on any other dark surface, it worked just fine. You also have your Bluetooth connection button down here, which allows you to connect to up to three different devices at the same time. And this is something that I don't like about this mouse or the MX Master 2S. I don't like it for sure, bro. I don't like yeah. Having the Bluetooth connection button on the bottom is just, I mean, it seems pretty small, but I would rather if they had to put it on the top. They have a bunch of space right here on the top where they could have put a button, just click it and have the three indicator lights right behind it, just right on top instead of always flipping it over, going like that. You could just simply just move your hand to the top side and just click the button to switch from device to device. I think the little changes in products just make them that much better. And I believe that it would make this mouse a lot better. I don't know, what do you think? Leave a comment down below if you agree with me or if you just think I'm just splitting hairs here. Now on the front side, you have your USB type C port. Now this USB type C port allows for fast charging. So one minute of charge time will give you three hours of use and a full charge will give you four months of use. Why you ain't telling my screensavers went out? I ain't adjusting it. I ain't going back and fixing it. I'm just not. Now inside the Logitech software, you can customize the different mouse buttons. You can also control the point and scroll speeds. And you can also set this up to work with Flow. And what Flow is, is that you can move this mouse cursor from one computer to the next computer. And you also can transfer files from one computer to the next computer with the Flow software that Logitech has put inside of this mouse. The people I think that this is for is just for your basic everyday computer user. They just need a point and click and that maybe they just want something to help them out with their carpal tunnel. So who is this mouse not made for? It's not made for gamers. I did my Google search and it's also not made for left-handed mouse users. 10% of the world is left-handed and so Logitech probably did the same Google search as I did because everybody does Google searches and they found out, let's just make this mouse for right-hand dominant people simply because 90% of the world uses that. That will maximize our profits and we don't have to waste any money making left-handed mouse and them not selling. I don't know. I mean, I might be just uh, making all that logic up inside my head right now as I talk to you, but it sounds good, so I'm gonna roll with it. So if you wanna use this mouse and you're left-handed and you normally use your left hand to use the mouse, you need to go ahead and make the switch and get used to using the mouse in your right hand. I didn't make this up, Logitech did that. If you have a problem with them, hit them up, tweet them, send them a message on IG, do what you gotta do. But I still don't think they're gonna make a left-hand mouse just because people are complaining about it. And so the reason why I got this mouse is just for simple, computer functions at work. I just need this to point, click, cut, paste, scroll up and down, maybe go forward a page and go back a page, but that's it. Throughout my professional career, I've just had regular, I don't know, I think like Microsoft mouse and they didn't have any special features to them. So I can use this at work just fine. There are a few things that I mentioned earlier that I think that could be added to this mouse. Take the hyper scroll wheel from the MX Master 2S, and replace this scroll wheel. Move the Bluetooth connectivity button to the top side so it's a lot easier just to switch between devices. Take the forward and back buttons and the horizontal wheel from the MX Master 2S and just slap it in right there. And also the gesture button underneath here, put the gesture button in here. Um, the dark technology I really don't care for. The USB type C port I love. and. I mean, I think that's everything that will make this mouse just that much better. It'll probably put the price up. No, it probably shouldn't put the price up because the price for the MX Master 2S right now on Logitech site is $100. This is $100, but you have a little more features. I think you're just paying for the vertical feel. So maybe, I don't know, $110, $115 to add the buttons in the MX Master 2S inside the MX vertical. If you agree with me, go ahead and leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. 
And that's it, man. That's my quick spiel on the MX Vertical. I will be using this mouse as a daily driver at work. When I come home, I'll be using the MX Master 2S. As always, thanks for stopping by the Tech Love channel. If this is your first time here, go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so you get notifications on when I drop my latest tech videos. Thanks for stopping by. My name is Nicholas, and I'm out. Peace.